There's been an overwhelming response from the public to Scottish Transplant Awareness Week, the campaign backed by Scottish Television and the Herald newspaper. At noon today, our special action line reported that they'd sent out over 7,000 donor cards to Scotland Today viewers. But once the publicity dies away, how will the transplant units keep up the momentum? Some campaigners have already raised the issue that transplant donations should be a matter of course and that the onus should be on us to opt out of donating our organs if we disagree. Zoe Muir reports. Ted Clark lost his daughter Susan three months ago. She died during an attempt to give her a new heart and lungs. It, it was a tragic moment for the whole of our family that uh, although she was taken into the operating theatre, they said they'd found a suitable donor. Within an hour she came out without the operation having been performed. And um, John Dark, the surgeon, told my wife that the donor's heart had stopped beating. And that was about five o'clock in the morning. And uh, I saw Susan take her last breaths on this earth at midnight. The experience has left Ted determined to do more to help others in Susan's situation. Although he supports donor cards, he feels more could be done. Well, the donor card system has been reasonably successful over the years. But I feel that something better should be introduced if we don't get the numbers coming forward as a result of this campaign. And Tom Dale's bill in the House which was commonly referred to as the opt-out bill, would have meant it, it was possible for the doctors to take organs from bodies, providing the person hadn't previously said they didn't want it to happen. But opting out of organ donation is a controversial issue, one which transplant campaigners are reluctant to tackle. We've looked at this as an organisation, my own organisation, Second Chance for Life, and we know um, through talking to 23 other organisations that there's mixed feeling about it. We know that the public has mixed feeling about it. There have been figures quoted of 70% saying yes. Uh, I think personally that the figures are lower than that and there have been surveys to, to show this. It's certainly a matter that's been discussed, I think, fairly widely. Uh, my strong impression at the moment is that both the public and the medical profession would be opposed to that approach of presumed consent, as I think it would be described. Uh, and I think there's a further consideration. There are some countries in the world where that is indeed the arrangement. And as I understand it, there is no clear evidence from those countries that a greater number of organs become available uh, for use and those who need them. It may be too late for the Clark family, but their only wish now is that others don't suffer the same loss that they have. Well, we're joined in the studio by the reporter who's been covering the Scottish Transplant Awareness Week, Zoe Muir.